This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is master production schedule, okay, MPS. Okay, it is it is same more or less uh, same like MRP, but it is it, we have its uh, there is some difference between MRP and MPS. Uh, so that difference we need to understand and how it works we, we need to understand. Okay, so the topics that we are going to cover they are we will see what is master production scheduling master production scheduling over defining master production scheduling items so how to uh, define a material uh, as a mps item how to define that we will see then using master production scheduling how this mps is used actually why it is used how it is used we'll see difference between mps and mrp what is the difference between mps and the mrp we covered in the previous sessions and why we need to use mps uh, that we will cover and uh, creating connection between mps and mrp so uh, finally how this connection between mps and mrp is carried out we will see that okay so first we'll start with the uh, introduction to master production schedule okay so in this, so basically this MPS, Master Production Scheduling, enables you to plan materials that have greatest influence on value creation for a company, okay? Or that use critical resources and therefore need to be planned more carefully. So, so in sometimes what happens is, in the organizations, sometimes you may have very critical products, critical materials, okay? Uh, or some products will use some critical machinery okay important machinery so these kind of products you need to plan uh, separately in advance okay uh, so that your regular production or regular uh, uh, manufacturing activity uh, is not getting disturbed so for that to plan those materials separately separately we will be using mps master production schedule okay normal mrp plans all the materials whereas this mps uh, master production scheduling which we are discussing today will plan only those particular materials so how to identify those materials how to execute we will understand normally for these materials the master production schedule is first defined at the level of this critical or important material then before the dependent assembly assemblies and purchased parts are planned and procured so basically uh, uh, these mps items mps items once they are defined these items these mps items critical items are first planned they they plan these materials first after that they will plan the remaining materials dependent materials like raw materials packing materials semi finished goods those kind of things they will plan later using mrp so First, they will plan MPS items, MPS items, master production scheduling items. After that, they will plan uh, dependent materials using MRP. Okay. You plan the master production schedule, master scheduling items and non-master scheduling items in separate planning runs. Okay, so that's what uh, I just explained. So MPS items, critical items are planned using MPS, and the remaining items, non-MPS items are planned using a separate planning okay you can specify finished products or assemblies for master production scheduling items provided that you have entered a corresponding mrp type for each plant or each mrp area in the mrp one view of the metal cluster so now the question is how to identify this mps item critical item that is you using mrp type mrp type in the metal cluster in the mrp one the mrp one okay so so this is what how the mps runs so basically this mps is used for the materials which are having high value and use critical resources critical resources so so there's a reason these materials are planned using a separate planning run that is called mps mps run so basically let's say if you see this uh, uh, bomb uh, structure this is a header material and it is having this is the first level bomb 
and after that this is the second line so let's say this critical items are defined using uh, the, the critical items are defined as master scheduling items so if you see here these are master scheduling items these are okay so when you run M mps run mps run it will run it will run mp uh, planning run only for these materials these materials which are marked as mps items master scheduling items so only those materials this one this one this one this one the, the materials which are marked as mps items so mps run will do that whereas whereas normal mrp normal mrp will plan the non mps items so this ones so the one non mps items are these ones which are with blue color so it will plan the remaining materials so the the, the point to be noted here is mps run will plan the master scheduling items whereas normal mrp mrp will run the remaining non mps materials so that is the difference okay so let's continue so this is what we just discussed the mps run plans only the master scheduling items okay it will not plan all the materials it will not do that it will plan only the materials which are marked as master scheduling items which we will see it in the system mps is executed with the same logic as mr of course the the background functionality the background uh, logic and everything will be same as mr mr dependent requirements are created for the next low level code so when you run mps mps it will plan that critical item and it will create dependent requirement for the next level code okay so if you see this you will understand suppose let's say here this is the one so let's say you marked a material as a mps item mps item okay so and this one is having let's say two levels of bomb this is level 1 and again this one is having level 2 now what what when you run mps what system does is it will plan this material it will plan the obviously mps item and it will create only dependent requirements for the next level that's all that's all it will plan this one and create dependent requirements for the next level but it will not plan it will not do anything for the down level. and also for this one it will just create a dependent requirement that's all it will not create any planned order or prs for this level also now this is mps after that when you run mrp when you run mrp it will plan this one this one and the remaining bomb levels okay so mps basically what it does is it will run the mid, uh, planning for the materials which are marked as mps and it will create dependent requirements only creates dependent requirements for the first level of bomb items that's all okay whereas mrp it will run all the it will take care of the remaining materials planning run that's all that is the difference okay so now we will see this in the system so that's what the mps run the mps run generates planned orders for the master scheduling items that's what i just explained and the corresponding dependent requirements at the bill of materials level below only the one level that's all. and after that mrp plans the other assemblies and components in the bomb structure so mrp will take care of the planning of the remaining materials okay so now we will see this in the system okay so let's go to the system okay what i will do uh, i will create a, a fresh material fresh finished product okay so i'll copy from the existing one i'll create a fresh uh, uh, finish product new one okay i'll copy from this one material select views i'm selecting the views okay so continue uh, i'm using the plant 001 and i will copy the data of the 
reference material from this plant. Continue. 